In this video, we're going to have a quick look at hiding teams in Microsoft Teams. So you may have access to quite a few teams, depending on your role and how your company is managing teams and the creation of them. I've currently got four, so it's not too many, but there might be some that I don't use that often, that I don't always need to have open. I don't need a visual cue that anything is going on in them. I might just pop into them as and when I need them. Or maybe that a project has stopped for a while and I'm going to leave it hidden until it started again. So just looking at the Techify one in front of me, if I click on the three dots, I can see I've got a hide as an option. And when I click hide, I get the hidden teams down below. Techify has gone. And if I open up hidden teams, I can see it's there. So it's still available to me, but it's just hidden in the background. This is really useful so you don't have to scroll down too far on your Teams list and you can really have the ones that you use on a daily basis open. The rest of them you can hide if you don't want to leave the team but you still don't want it viewable at the moment and it just really keeps it tidy and stops you from clicking and looking at stuff that aren't needed at that point in time and keep you super, super productive in Microsoft Teams. If you want to bring this team back out of, of hide, then just click on the three dots and just click on show and that will bring it back into the original list and you'll be able to see it up there and there'll be no hidden teams if that was the only one that was hidden. Have a go, keep your teams nice and clean and tidy and hide the ones you don't need to view at this point in time.